What's up, buddy boys and buddy girls? JJ Venture here coming at you with something great today. Today I'm back with another entertaining and amazing video for you, buddy peeps. Buddy, buddy boys and buddy girls, this is part two of my childhood past. This is going to be, for my childhood in the past, the Magic School Bus. I'm going to be reacting to Magic School Bus. To be honest with you, I actually did watch a little bit of this, but I can't quite remember if it was last year or this year. But I did watch a little bit of it, and now that I'm grown, I just wanted to, you know, re revisit my childhood and see what it was like. Because honestly, I didn't really get to watch a lot of uh, what I saw glimpses of in the past. You know, a lot of the films that I saw in the past, I didn't really get to finish. I didn't get to really, you know, watch from episode to episode to episode. I didn't get to do that. So, you know, since I already did that, this today I'm just going to be reacting to a single episode of such. And that is why this is happening. And once you know it, I've decided to also do a part three after this part two. So, uh, you know, bear in mind that that will be coming. I don't know when, don't know what time, but it will be coming. That'll be the last part. Today is all about part two, the Magic School Bus. So, without further ado, Buddy Pete's Entertainment. Let's do this. Wait a minute. Seatbelts, everybody! Let's go! No way! No way! Magic school bus, hey, ain't through the stars. On the magic school bus. The magic school bus. The magic school bus. On the magic school bus. The magic school bus. The magic. This of the school bus. All right, kids. You're about to go for a true adventure. Adventure is up there. Yeah, man. Nice. I'm telling you, something's missing. Something's missing. What do you mean something's missing? Looks fine to me, boy. Oh, I get it. I get it because it's not really sewn on there very well. You're trying to build a model scale desert, kids. You I mean you gotta use some glue? We got gravel. Yeah. We got desert plants like cacti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got pretty much all the little essential. You, you got pretty much all the little parts to a desert. Except the sun. Ah, the sun. My eyes. My eyes are bent. I bent. Bones and bones and dry bones. Yeah, right. You were thinking the same thing as Miss Frizzle. Right, my friend. Right, buddy boy. Dynamic deduction. That's a great deduction, little lady, because now you know what we're learning today. Oh, our curriculum is so random, but 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 just 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 keep in mind that you are on the right track, sister sister. You are on the right track. On the right track. Beetle, scorpion. Beetle, scorpion. Roadrunner? Oh yeah, Roadrunner. Like uh, Roadrunner from Looney Tunes. 
Right? Yeah. I'm sure we'll see that somewhere down the line there. Running around on that hot, hot at all. Oh, wow, I didn't know that, boy. I didn't know it was very hot. Somebody bring the fans. Somebody bring the fans. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, them plants, they get their own food. You know, they, they find their own food. Those, those animals make it somehow. You gotta be actually be there to know how they survive. And you can't survive in a desert. No human being can survive in a desert very long. They will live a very short life, I promise you. No shelter, no food, no water. No shelter, no food, no water. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it, sir. Scarcity. Okay then. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? <laughs> Little girls always say that. What can we do? What can we do? I'll tell you what we can do. I'll tell you what we can do, little girl. We can persevere. We can do it right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I am a desert scout, Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle, do your worst. Yeah. I'll do my best, Arnold. Do your worst and do your best. Which one truly is it? Mm. Yeah, we're going there to learn, Carlos. We're not going there to play some b-ball or some football or some soccer ball. We are going there to learn about the desert, y'all. Oh, it's transforming. Oh, big boy, it's transforming. Yeah, let's be a, uh... Helicopter. All right, then. We'll be flying around the mountain when she comes. Yeah, we're flying over mountain. We're not coming around the mountain. That song is a little bit incorrect for this particular situation, but I see how it's maybe relatable and very similar. If it weren't for these mountains, there wouldn't even be a desert. What do mountains have to do with the deserts? Good question, girl. Rain shadow? No. Some deserts are made by what's called the rain shadow effect. Rain shadow effect. As air rises over the mountains, its water vapor condenses into rain or snow. Wow! All the moisture, so the air reaching the other side is dry as it Oh, so they catch the moisture and the rain so that that desert can be cool enough and thrive. I get it. Ah, we just learned a science lesson there. Okay, then. That condensation and precipitation, y'all. Yeah, that actually wouldn't be half bad. A parachute in case of a natural disaster, in case of a helicopter crash! <gasps> oh, we're gonna die! We're gonna die! Oh! Oh! Is everyone okay? Miss Frizzle! Kids! Oh! Wow, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Dang, that is scorching. Hot, hot, hot. Is it just, or does this look like the final field trip? Come the on. final field trip indeed, my friend. 
We Field are not going to make it home alive. Get dusty. Field trip tip number 87. Not to hunt. Come on, you guys. Students against desert scarcity. Remember, we've got work to do. Desert scarcity? What about dessert scarcity? <laughs> dessert scarcity. Oh, oh God, these kids are so freaking selfish. All they care about is eating food and playing ball. Like, come on. Get with the program, kids. This is a field trip for learning. This is a school field trip. A collared lizard, eh? Yeah, I'll say it's got a rat's tail. Ew! That don't sound delicious to a human, though. How would you like to be a lizard being chased by a hungry road runner? Oh, uh, maybe. Well, uh, I wouldn't like it so much if I was the species that that. Roadrunner is chasing after, but as you can plainly see, I'm not, and neither is he. Yep, the hungry get going, all right. I didn't even notice that. Wow. That's becoming edible. Mm. Oh, that's you gonna do that. Maybe you could uh, blend into uh, an undistasteful atmosphere. Perhaps you could blend into a distasteful atmosphere. Oh, an edible horn lizard. Okay. Yeah. Wow, those horn lizards must be real proud of themselves. Must be real proud of the fact that they're not going to be eaten because they are sick and disgusting and undesirable. Honestly, guys, I live in a semi-desert, and yeah, it is always hard. Every time I go outside, every time we have to endure that, it is always too much. Pretty please. Did you say the magic words? You said the magic words. Please. She said the magic words. And now they are out of the bus, and the bus is panting. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> You're prepared for everything, aren't you, boy? Like, literally, you, you just wake up out of bed. You tell yourself. You just tell everybody that I'm prepared for the day. I'm prepared for the day, everyone. I am the overachiever. I am the muster of life. It's sent. Sitting there with the sun beating down on its head. It's warning us from cults. Field trip tip number 158. If when the sun is beating down on your head, put on a hat. Got that covered? Things are not. Hey! You stole the boy's hat! This will keep you from getting too hot. A nice hat to shade your baby. You don't, you little mini. What? What's wrong with you? Air conditioning, yeah, that's real cute. That's corny. Corny, corny joke. Okay, that's enough. Alright, thank you everyone. It's been JJ Avenger. Mr. Entertainment of the Weird Man. And I am.